So this next video is just covering the optional ability to add um, leveling data into our project and of course add it to our least squares adjustment. So to add level data, we can obviously just drag and drop in any digital level data. Um, so it's obviously the Trimble Dini format supported, but there are other digital level formats that are supported. However, to add manual, um, manually recorded level data, then from the survey tab, we just go into the level editor and it's basically asked me how many setups that we've actually done here. Um, so we can just add in however many setups and then whether we've just done a simple backsite foresight or whether it's a backsite, backsite, foresight, foresight, and these other combinations. So most of the time it's going to be simply backsite foresight. And we just hit OK and it basically creates all these uh, level runs here. Um, so we have an option to put in a benchmark level, or we've got an option to um, take out something from an existing station if we put in a recognized station here. So what I will do is I'll just go through and add my back sites and foresights, pause the video, and then we can look at the data once we've got it in. So here I've entered most of the levels. However, I've miscounted the, the number of setups. So we're just going to take that off and put it to a computed value. Try that again. So insert setup below. And it basically just allows me to add that extra setup. So we're just making sure that we, um, if there are stations in the database already, then we need to make sure that these are matched. And to insert an individual setup, it's just simply a case of putting in your back site. So I just put in the last recorded setup here um, uh, and the foresight. And then what we have here is where, because it's on points already in the database, we've got that it starts, the starting elevation is coming from coordinates. The, f the finishing elevation is coming from coordinates. Um, and what we want to do here is if we just adjust the runs, then it will basically just calculate this misclosure here, which is three millimeters over the entire run. And then it will basically adjust the levels. So what we want to normally do is just allow the levels to be added to the least squares adjustment. So when we choose this option here, creation option, allow network adjustment, it just creates a delta elevation between the stations and it's added to the network adjustment. If we wanted to absolutely use the leveling results, then we could just choose this option here, which basically creates control and it's all based on the, the level that's here. So it's not dynamically updated um, all the time. Um, what we, the last option here, when I choose adjust runs, what's, what's shown here is it's going to use the adjusted um, deltas so the, we have the misclosure, each one of the, the correction is applied to each uh, delta elevation. And it's the adjusted delta elevations that will go across into the least squares adjustment, which is generally what we want. If we wanted to use the raw elevations, the raw delta elevations, then we can choose this option here. But this is the preferred option. So when we've done that, then we can just hit OK. And it's asking us, do we want to merge these stations? So of course we do. So this is why it's very important to get these the, the naming absolutely correct. So we just choose import. And that's imported into our leveling run, into our control network rather. And if we click in one of these uh, lines between the stations, we'll see now that we've actually got level observations automatically recognized as well as with the total station observations. When I click in one of these, then in the properties box, then I will see it here. Um, now we can basically just go back and we can choose to adjust our network and then we can choose to, um, to hit adjust. It's just going to run through And you can see that the leveling is now included and the reference factor from the leveling is always going to be very, very low. Um, but we can see our vertical angles here, the leveling exposed, the little vertical angles are probably just a little bit even worse than expected. Again, this might be down to the fact that POWO has been used 
um, and maybe the, the accuracy of the heighting of the pole rather than the actual vertical angles themselves being any worse. But if we just hit to reweight that, we hopefully will see that uh, our leveling has passed. And once again, it's very, very useful to look at our residuals. So we click on the level observation here. We can see that there's basically no residual. So obviously, because the leveling is, is weighted so heavily, then there's, there's no residual. And if we look at the total station observation, we can see that that's the one that's been allowed to, to essentially, um, there's the residuals been allowed to go on to that. And we're seeing that that's nine millimeters. So again, use the interface, use the, the ability to just click on these observations and look at the, where the actual errors have been distributed to get a, a very good feeling for the network. If we rerun our network adjustment report, then we will see the leveling included in it. We can also see under the reports menu at the top, we can also see, a, uh, we can see there's a level report there. So if we just accept it, first of all, the level report, report will be available. And we can see here that we've got a, a nice level report that can be printed off and put with our, our documentation. So just a word of warning. Um, if we do import data from a DINI level or a digital level, then distances are automatically recorded from the instrument to the, the staff. And of course, earth curvature and uh, refraction can be applied. Um, if we're importing, typing in data, then you can see that basically we're, we're not recording distances or normally we're not recording distances. So they are just coming up as, as blank. However, there is a setting which by default is correct. Um, so it's that our standard errors come from the level editor. If we do change that to project settings, and then we try and adjust the network, and we just uh, rerun the adjustment, then what we should see is that we get all these failures. Um, and it basically, when you're using the error estimates from the um, project, then it's needing the sighting distances. So it's just an important setting to know about that source for standard errors, leave it at the default, which is from the level editor, which is basically using the, the misclosure um, values to actually estimate the errors as your initial a priori settings. So we just change that back to the defaults and everything comes through um, as normal. So that's your network adjustment updated with your level data. Um, and obviously we can run, we can add as many runs um, as we like with the, the level editor. So that's just a short video on how to introduce digital level or um, normal level data into your TBC project.